If you buy a property, you can buy them at the auction for pennies. How are you going to go about selling it? Well, it's not going to sell itself. That means you're going to have to use media. Welcome back. I'm Ted Thomas, and in this episode, I'll be discussing buying and selling tax-defaulted real estate. This will be about buying low and selling low with good margin so you can get to the bank and have cash flow. Now, before I get into the lesson, I'm answering questions on a daily basis from my viewers. So today's question is, how much money do I need to get started? Well, first of all, thanks for asking the question, and here's a quick answer. The short answer is this. You can get started for a small amount as $500, but let's be practical about it. If you're going to start for $500 and you had 100% profit, you're only going to have $1,000. So you're really starting out with very little money. Yes, you can do that. However, I recommend you get three dollars to $5,000 and get started that way. But tax liens will sell as low as $500, but you want to start with a little bit more than that. So let's get to today's lesson. Now, I've been involved with tax defaulted real estate for about 30 years. And during that time, I've learned a lot. So I'm going to pass that information along to you today. Now, my perspective of the business is through the lens of an investor and a seller. Although I'm more than just an investor, I'm an author and a publisher and a guide to teach people how to do this. Now, the seller is trying to sell tax defaulted property and it's available to anyone that wants to spend just a few hours online doing a little research. So when you get started, here's what you're going to find out. You're going to find out that there's over 3,000 counties across the United States and they all sell tax defaulted property. All right, that means there's going to be abundance. There's going to be a lot of it. Now, in the small population county, there's going to be at least dozens, sometimes hundreds of tax defaulted property. But in the big counties, large population counties, there's going to be up to thousands of these tax defaulted properties that are going to auction. So this really is a business of abundance. Now, it's all governed by the legislature of the 50 different states, okay? So I don't make the rules. This has been around for 200 years. The legislature mandates that the local counties must collect property tax, okay? Now, if people don't pay their tax on their property, there's going to be consequences. So the official treasurer will place a lien on the property, and then they'll send numerous notices of default telling that property owner, you must pay your taxes. Now, what's that notice of default? That's nothing more than the due process of law saying that you're going to lose your property. So if the property owner ignores the notices of default, I can tell you right now, the official treasurer is going to levy on the property and then confiscate the property. What does that mean? That means they're going to seize the property and then they're going to sell it at a tax defaulted auction. So this is happening in all 3,000 counties, and you could buy one of these properties. There's probably going to be 3 million of these properties available in the course of the next year. So anybody can do this. And what's really happening? The counties are selling properties for 10 and 20 cents on the dollar. Highest bidder will get it. So it might start at 10 or 20 cents on the dollar, but it might sell for 30 or even 50 cents or more on the dollar. Anybody that wants to go to the auction can go. Now, if you could purchase a property for pennies on the dollar with no mortgage and no deed of trust loan on it, how many of those would you be interested in? Would that be a business you'd like to be part of? Well, what are we talking about today? We're talking about buying and selling properties and flipping these properties so you can make money and get to the bank. Now, people have different professional motivations. I don't know who you are, but a lot of people that are entrepreneurs dream of getting rich and making a lot of money. Some of them just want to be very famous in what they do. I don't know what you're, what you want, but one of the biggest reasons that people want to do this business is because they don't fit into a corporate mold. In other words, they don't want to go in and work nine to five, nine to five. They want to work when they want to work and they want to work on the work that they like and whatever. So you're getting the idea. So they don't usually fit. So I find many of my student entrepreneurs, what do they do? They have a 40 hour job that pays them well and they quit and go home and work 60 hours so they can do exactly what they want to do. So I don't know where you fit, but this business is perfect for a person that wants to work their own schedule and work on what they want to work on. So it appeals to entrepreneurs. So you get to choose to work what you want to do when you want to do it. 
All right, so let's talk a little bit about some of the details of what's going on in this business. Now, throughout these videos, I try to show some interesting examples of what previous people have done so that you get the idea and that'll help you out and teach you how to make money. So keep in mind what we're talking about here is we want to buy these properties low and then what we want to do is sell them quickly. All right, now how do you sell them quickly? Well, you can sell property quickly if you buy it right and you can be under market and you don't have a lot of liens and encumbrances on the property. For example, if you can buy a property for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar with no mortgage or deed or trust, then you can sell it for any price you want. Well, I'm sure you get the idea. You'd like to have many of those. So here's an example in a rural county that's a small county just north of Tampa, Florida, where my student purchased a property for $9,100. It was a three bedroom, two bath home, but it was covered with trees and it was used and abused, okay? That means it, it was overgrown with the trees, it was on a dirt road, and it didn't look too pretty. All right, now what did the property appraise for? Well, according to the tax assessor, it was worth $91,000. Now let's not get these numbers mixed up. Paying $9,100, but it was worth $91,000. So using the techniques that the student learned in my training, what did they do? They went out and looked at comparable values before they bid on the property, and they found comparable values up to $150,000. All right, so now what did they do? They went to the auction, they purchased for a bargain price, and then after they purchased the property, they put it up for sale. All right, they put it up for sale, and the tenant that was in the property said, I'll buy the property and gave $5,000 down, and purchased an option to buy that property for $150,000. Now ask yourself, if you bought a property for $9,100 and sold it for $150,000, how many of those deals like that would you like to make this year? Probably a lot, right? All right, so that's the kind of business it is. Now, does everybody make that kind of money? Forget it, that's not gonna happen. Most people won't make a lot of money because they won't go out and get involved in the business. All right, that's just a teeny, tiny glimpse of the profits that could be made. I'll tell you more about those profits, but what does it take to make these profits? I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a simple business, but it's not easy. So we make it sound easy when we tell you about it, but you're gonna to have to study, you're gonna to have to understand what's going on, and you're gonna to have to learn how to sell these properties. So that's what we're talking about today, buying and selling and flipping these deed properties. How are you gonna do that? Well, let's learn some solutions on how to go about doing it. If you buy a property, you can buy them at the auction for pennies. How are you gonna go about selling it? Well, it's not gonna sell itself. You're gonna to have to do something about that. That means you're gonna to have to use media. What's media? Well, a sign on the property is media. What about a newspaper? That's media. But today we're in an electronic world. How do you wanna go about selling? You wanna use eBay. You wanna use Craigslist. Think about Zillow. What about the multiple listing service? What about Facebook? Are you getting the idea? Every electronic site that's available, you need to advertise and buy media on all of those sites if it's available. You want to buy that media. One little sign on the front lawn is not going to get the job done. You have to get into media and start selling your property that way. All right, the lesson is all about buying and selling properties and flipping tax deeds. The successful people use media and they use financing to sell the property. So if you use all these steps that I just mentioned, simultaneously, you'll generate traffic and you'll generate inquiries. If you don't do that, I'm gonna tell you right now, how is anybody gonna find your property? On that little sign in the front lawn, that means they're gonna to have to drive by. So you need to know the market, you need to know a selling process, and of course, you could use brokers and you could use agents. The whole deal is, You've got to be an aggressive marketer. If you're not marketing the property, you're probably not going to sell the property. So understanding the importance of marketing is probably the biggest mistake that entrepreneurs make. This simple blunder is the difference between successfully making money and not making money. If you want to make money, you learn about media and you learn about marketing. Why? Because you have to know who the buyer is. Most sellers fail because they don't understand they're to use media and use lots of it. They're not assertive marketers. Now, a way to enhance that is talk about financing and installment sales. Now, if you do this right, this whole thing is smooth sailing. If you don't, you're gonna struggle month to month 
and you'll only make a fraction of the money that you deserve. So learning on this video, this is not theory. This is the real process of doing it. I've been working my best for many years to attract high income. How do you attract high income? You buy low, you have good margin, and you learn how to market. If you learn how to market, you'll make money and you'll make it quickly. If you want to have high income that you deserve, you'll need to use media to sell the property. I've tested dozens of tactics and techniques. I've sorted through hundreds of lists and I've been to hundreds of auctions nationwide. What I'm talking about here today works best and fastest for you to achieve big paydays. Even more important, I've discovered what works so you will just be able to learn what works and not make lots of mistakes. This system works best because it's been tested, it's been perfected, and it was worked out in the trenches with real deals when big money was on the line. You can do this by following the step-by-step -step process. In this tax defaulted property business, you make your money when you buy at the auction. If you get this part right, you're going to be doing fine. If you don't get it right, you're going to spin your wheels and you'll only make a fraction of the money that you deserve. Your success depends on the solution you provide for other people. The solution is they want to buy properties at the right price. What's the right price? They want to be under the market and they want to have financing. So if you will provide financing and you will provide the right prices, you're going to do just fine in this business. Now, right below me, you can see this calendar. You see those little white circles? That's how many auctions are taking place within that state. This calendar updates every single day. I'm here today to show you how to make money. To do that, I'm going to show you briefly that there are thousands of tax defaulted real estate properties across the 3,000 plus counties in the United States. This is quite interesting. You're looking at the Ted Thomas Magic Interactive Map and Auction Calendar. It changes every day. Now, I created the calendar and the map so I would know how many auctions are taking place every day in the United States. Now I can show the little guy how to make money. Most importantly, I created this system so I could have an auction list for each auction 24 seven. In the small population county, there's dozens of properties for, for sale, sometimes hundreds. In the large population counties, there's gonna be hundreds, even thousands of tax defaulted properties. If you're interested in knowing more about tax defaulted properties and finding out where the auctions are and how many, just go right below me. I'm Ted Thomas. See you on the next video. Don't forget, request your free gift right below me.